Hey guys, uh, Brew Barrymore from 17 Brew Crew here. Uh, happy Homebrew Wednesday. Um, I'm gonna apologize for not uh, posting a video uh, last Wednesday. Uh, I was hoping I could manage, even though, well, the thing is, I went to Denmark uh, for a vacation uh, with my family. And um, so I planned this, uh, and I hoped that there would be enough time uh, and manageable for me to pull this off. Uh, unfor uh, unfortunately, it, uh, it didn't work. Uh, but I did. I did start uh, recording and everything. It just I couldn't post it. It was really not. Kids were flying everywhere, and yeah, I couldn't. I couldn't do it. So sorry about that. Uh, over to uh, this one. I brought along my IPA. Um, it's basically a um, uh, something I picked up from from Craig Tube, where he uh, used the Cooper's IPA and he uh, spiced it up a little bit with the hops, um, about uh, an ounce I think of Cascade hops. So that's what I did. I I went even higher, I went to 40 grams, uh, boiled it for about 7 or 8 minutes along with the dextrose and the, the beer, beer kit enhancers which is dextrose and uh, spray malt uh, or dry malt extract. Um, so I used 2 kilos and 1 can, 2 kilos of beer kit enhancer and 1 can. Let's, um, let's open up this one. Didn't get very much of a his there, but I see the carbonations going on. This, by the way, is a screw top. I can see that now. I used to different bottles. Let's get over that. Uh, so here's the pour. I'm not going to pour aggressively. I already have this one, so I'm just going to let this one play out by itself. I think I'm not going to be able to fit it all in there. But there's a nice carbonation going on. There's a nice head. And so far it's been a nice head retention too. There's a little bit left there. I'm, I'm going to finish it. Don't, don't worry. Um, yes, yeah, so I think this one has a nice color to it. Uh, it's a little darker, I think. And Craig's because I added one more ingredient uh, to this. I added uh, 130 grams of uh, candy sugar, like dark Belgian candy sugar. And I thought it would be making more of an effect than it does, but it does make it a little sweeter. Um, but I feared more molasses than than I can taste. Maybe someone else will say that that's way too much, but I'm not going to review this. I'm pouring it because it's homebrew Wednesday and I need a homebrew. Yeah. Yeah, that's a nice beer. Um, if I may say so, I and mean, it's uh, definitely uh, more to my taste than the Cerveza. Not that the service is bad, it's almost gone, so people have been hogging it when when they had the chance they wanted more of that, so it turned out good in the end. Um, so this, i put it here so you can see the, the retention of the little head I poured, I think it's going to stick around for us. It's a uniform bubble, so right, uh, they're quite small, it's actually a little creamy at this point. So I, actually the carbonation, I'm very uh, satisfied with that. So that's that. So to give you a short, uh, short the, sh the short recipe I used, um, one can of Cooper's IPA, um, 1.5 kilograms of that. There's 40 grams of Cascade hops pellets, which I use. Uh, I boil for seven or eight minutes, I'm not really sure. 130 grams of candy sugar, and 2 kilograms of beer kit enhancer, which I think it's 50% uh, uh, dextrose, and the other half is uh, light, um, light dry malt extract. 
So that's that, and I let that stay in the fermenter for, I think it was 10 days with this one. Um, see if I can remember uh, the original gravity. No, I can't. Uh, I think it was maybe 1056. It ended up at 1008 or something like that. And uh, So that's that. Um, that's what I'm drinking uh, at the moment. Uh, and it's a it's a nice beer. It's a nice. I love IPA. I had a, a lot of IPA in Denmark. I'm gonna come back to that. Let's take that right now. Um, I, I had more than uh, 30 different beers uh, in uh, in eight days. Uh, I was I didn't drink them all by myself. I shared them uh, with my wife. She she's got into my interest in the, the hobby. Um, She's not brewing or anything, she just enjoys the fruits, uh, which is fine by me as long as I can do it. And uh, so we uh, we went uh, uh, straight to Denmark and then we <laughs> took the ferry to the top and then drove all the way through down to Germany, uh, just across the border, uh, the border there uh, to uh, <clears throat> a town called Flensburg. And <clears throat> Uh, basically, I wanted to visit a store there so we could, you know, get the cheapest uh, beers and she likes red wine uh, and, and <clears throat> I like whiskey too, um, but we didn't make it, we didn't make it, so we took our time instead, uh, took her dining to a steakhouse, we had very nice food and all, and then we just went to the supermarket and picked up all the beers there. And the wine and the whiskey. Um, so but let's let's uh, keep it with beer. And I'm just I'm just gonna take you th uh, through uh, a short list of uh, the ones that I I found really exceptional. Um, and it's kind of in a chronological uh, chronological order. I'm sorry. Uh, um, I'm gonna start with uh, the first one. Um, it's a local one from Flensburg where we picked it up. It's a Flensburger Edles Helles, I believe it's pronounced. Uh, so it's a Helles. It's my first time with a Helles. I'm sold. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna have to try and replicate uh, a Helles either from a partial mash or whatever at some point. I need to I need to try to, to do this. This is that's a good beer. So if you ever have the chance of Flensburger Edles and also there's uh, picked out a lager uh, came in a one liter can a huge can um, it's called a Foxa premium spelled f-a-x-e and it was a good good lager I mean we had hot days down there about 28 degrees Celsius and it was refreshing and, and nice tasting it wasn't as dry and uninteresting as the lagers we usually pick up uh, here in Norway. Norway is a lager country and very conservative about their beers. I don't know what's going on, but I like this. Um, and then I want to mention uh, a Polaner Hefeweizen. Now, I picked up a five liter keg of this. Yeah, I shared. I shared with a lot of people. I, I, this was the best Hefeweizen I had there. I picked up some bottles that were, I thought was expensive compared to the other ones, not compared to Norway. Uh, but this was not too much. I think it was 10 euros for a 5 liter keg. That's, yeah, that's about what you get. One beer in Norway, one pint if you go out, you know, to the pub. That's one pint in Norway, so I got a five liter keg. So, if you ever have a chance, that's a nice, refreshing one. I have two Carlsbergs, but not the, the lager ones, uh, obviously. Um, so, the, the, there's two one, uh, two uh, Carlsbergs that stood out. There's the Jacobson Sauce Blonde. Amazing stuff. Pretty hoppy. At least more than I expected. That's a good one, and there, then there's the 2013 Vintage Ale, and that's a big one. Um, it's a small bottle, and it needs to be, because it's only 33 uh, centiliters, because this one is 10.6%, so you need to beware of that before you 
have it for breakfast or anything like that because I've, luckily I, I watched uh, the label and the percentage before I poured it. So uh, it's, it's very good. You don't. It doesn't come across as that strong when you taste it and drink it. You, you need to to pace yourself when you drink because it's very good tasting too. Uh, hold on, I'll bring it here so you can see the bottle. I have one more. Okay, so I uh, I went to the fridge and I fetched uh, this for you. I'm, I'm gonna hold it as close as I can. It needs to be in the light as well. This is the look of the bottle. I, it's probably out of focus, so sorry about that. Then there's a picture up. Uh, there's an image that will let you see more on 17bluecrew.com. Uh, uh, just uh, look for Brew Beer um and threads started by me. I mean, you should find. Let me look it up for you. It's easier that way. Okay, so it's uh, called BB's Holiday Beers, Holiday Trip Beers. BB. Okay, so uh, I looked it up. It's called BB's Holiday Trip Beers. It's under chit chat, so we'll find it there. Uh, there's uh, images of most of the beers that I tried, but not all, not all of them. Sadly, some went real bad. Bad lighting, out of focus, so such things. So. You never know. Now you've seen it, and I'm not gonna spend a whole lot of time um, explaining things uh, now. Um, I just felt the need to proceed the, the Homebrew Wednesday uh, tradition. Um, as you can see, the head retention on the, on this one is, at least to my uh, to my opinion, it's it's very good. It stays around. It's gonna, it's gonna stay like this all the way down. I've had a couple of these before. I've had a few. It stays around, and yeah, I like it. So uh, it's one of the best beers I've had, including uh, the ones in on the holiday. If I, if I can even get away with saying that on camera. But it's a funny thing about homebrew or homemade stuff. It's just, yeah, we tend to like it more. And I, I really like this. I'm gonna make it again. I'm gonna make it. I'm even you know, probably gonna let anyone, uh, some someone uh, who's a beer reviewer, uh, tell me what they think. And not that it's gonna be uh, outstanding or anything. Just, yeah. Just do that and see what comes of it. Um. Okay, guys, uh, got a little longer this time. Um, I don't know if that's a good thing or not, but uh, at least uh, I'm uh, I'm learning as I go. Um, I don't have a whole lot of uh, experience towards this stuff, so I'm I'm not a beer reviewer, not a beer connoisseur. Um, I don't know about video editing, um, so there you go. I'm just, I just wanna, I just wanna join in uh, the the Homebrew Wednesday tradition. I think it's a good thing. I watch other Homebrew Wednesday videos as much as I can, and I enjoy them. So I thought, hey, why not join in on the uh, tradition there, and and maybe I can contribute with something someday. Who knows? I mean. You never know these things. At least the head sticks around. I mean, this is this is, and it's a good one too. At least to my liking. Uh, maybe I'll have uh, someone else try this and tell you what they think. I don't know. Maybe. So, have a happy homebrew Wednesday. Cheers. And not least, seventeen. See you guys.